time for a sleeping pad review. So I'm here with another review, and this is on one of TNH's sleeping pads. Now this is a dual baffle system, so they kind of market it as a uh, backup system. If one goes down, you still have the other, and it actually is designed to keep you afloat. So it's a, if you get a hole in one baffle, but the other baffle doesn't have a hole, it keeps you up and it still keeps going. So uh, the thing about that though, is it does sacrifice on weight to do that, because uh, you have an extra valve, you have extra uh, pieces that go into that system and how it actually all lays, lays out. Uh, it does actually is, is actually made of a pretty durable material so um, that to take it by, keep in mind as well but this weighs in at almost 32 ounces. I think it's like 31.6 ounces so it's not the lightest in the world but for 39 bucks I'm not expecting a huge awesome ultralight holy cow sleeping pad. Uh, it does have a good thermal, thermal value to it but what we're going to do is we're going to actually set it up blow it up uh, inside the tent here and uh i'll show you what the valve system looks like real quick before we go in there uh I'll tell you what i'll bring the video in a little bit so you have a little closer view so a nice bag that says tnh outdoors on the bag itself uh so you can see that there is a two different baffles so we actually have two valves um just same similar valves where you, you close it and you have a one-way system on one side uh, this is how I store it, is I always keep it open. Uh, and then you just open this up and then you can just kind of blow into there. And uh, so let's basically blow up one and see what it's like with just one blown up and then we'll do two. So you can adjust how much air goes in it to tell how tight it is, but you can see that we have half of the sleeping padding uh, filled up. So what, basically what it means is that if something happens and this gets punctured on this side, you can then flip it around and then use this as your torso and then your legs. More people actually, you know, if you're going packing or whatever, you'll always have something that you can stick under your legs. This has a weight where I would have a hard time saying it's specifically for backpacking. Uh, but it's something that you could take packing if you wanted to. Uh, but if you're, especially if you're ultra light backpacking, you're probably gonna look for something that's all, you know about half the weight, but it's gonna be about twice the price typically. So let's fill up this side real quick as well. So. That side was about eight and a half breaths. I actually counted it at that time. So not too bad, it actually fills up pretty fast as you can see. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and stick it in the tent and then we'll lay it in the tent to see how it actually feels. All right, so the nice thing about this is that the baffles, because there's not a continuous piece, there's these grooves and everything, it has kind of a, a nice feeling on the back. Now, this isn't the first time I've actually used it, but first time I actually had it in this tent, that's it. Um, but the nice thing is you can adjust how much air is in here by just adjusting how much you actually blow in in the last breath. Ah, oh, well, how about that? So I have a little bit less in there. Now it's a little bit softer. So if I didn't want it as firm, I can soften it up a little bit. Um, the last test I did on this before I actually did this video is I actually let it let it stay filled up for over a week without ever touching it and so that was my last test to see how well it could actually hold maintain air pressure even after a week without touching it it still had plenty of air to keep me off the ground it was definitely feeling a little bit softer so it felt more like this side it does right now it's not as not as firm as like this one down here does oh I'm sitting on this but this one definitely feels a lot firmer than the upper section that I just did. Um, so it definitely holds air well. It has that redundancy, especially for the upper torso, if you, you know, you can flip it around. So, and then when you're done, all you do is, like any of these pads, you just open it up and squeeze all the air out. 
And because it basically has, like I said, that baffle system, uh, you're only doing, you can do half at a time if you really want to. Uh, but you'll fold it up and roll it up and just like you do any other sleeping pad, to be honest. So yeah, that's uh, that's the THL, uh, uh, the uh, T, uh, TNH, sorry, outdoors um, sleeping pad. For, you know, for 30 damn bucks, not a bad option. So after that, the only real downside, other than the weight, um, like I said, it's a very comfortable sleeping pad in my opinion. It, uh, the material seems like it's going to last a long time. But this is the only thing I've, I've, I've found is that every time I've rolled this up, I always have some air that's left in here that's not the easiest to get out of. So the how they have these baffles designed is not the most simplistic way of squeezing every square inch of air out of the pad. So it can take some time to actually get all of the air out, to be honest. Uh, and I have not, I have not perfected a way to get the air out. That's the one thing that I've tried every time I've had this uh, pad out of its bag. Uh, is trying to get every single little bit of air out because obviously if you're talking about pack space air takes up space it's not so much about weight it's about space um, so I can't get every square inch of air out like I can in some of my other sleeping pads so something to keep in mind but thanks TNH for sending this over to me I will post links down below directly to TNH, uh, TNH's website where you can purchase it uh, I don't think you can get it off Amazon currently but I know they do have a link to the Amazon page as well. I'll throw that up there as well. So if you have any questions at all about this, let me know what you think. And uh, if I need to put it to a different test, please tell me what test you want me to put it to. And I will do it if I can. Otherwise, subscribe, like the video, share it. We'll catch you on a future video.